Hey, what is going on guys? It is Young here and today I'm back in a Fortnite video and in today's video I wanted to be talking about and giving you guys some shotgun tips and tricks to help you guys improve your aim and play a lot better with the shotguns and this is something that I haven't covered uh, after they removed the, the combat shotgun from the game and I think it's a really important thing to talk about because it really does change the game a ton because there's no more combat shotguns in the game that's what everybody was using now pretty much everyone has to use either a combat or attack so I want to talk about which one is better and exactly the best way to play with those type of weapons to have better accuracy and before we get into the video, I have a V-Bug giveaway. If you guys want a chance to win some free V-Bugs, all you guys have to do is to drop a like on the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and as well subscribe to my second channel. The link for that will be in the description or the pinned comment. Turn on my post notifications and as well comment down below your Xbox Gamer Tag, your PSN Gamer Tag, or Epic account. And as well, if you guys would like to support me in the item shop, all you guys have to do is go over to the item shop, go down to support a creator, type in my code, my code is YoungHumor, and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator. I really do appreciate all you guys who do add me, and alright guys, let's go right to the video. Alright, so in this video, I wanted to be talking about how to improve your accuracy with shotguns here in Season 10, because I really didn't talk about shotguns too much after they remove the combat from the game and this really doesn't make a huge difference because the way you play with the combat shotgun is a hundred percent different than the way you would play with a pump shotgun or the way you would play with a tack shotgun it's completely different just because the weapon and just the range on it the damage on the range and then the total damage very very different between all the weapons so that's why i wanted to be talking about uh, shotguns in this video just so I can cover everything that I need to when it comes to damage range the best way to play with it and also how to improve your accuracy very very easily so here I want to kind of compare the combat shotgun to the pump shotgun and show exactly what you have to do that's just going to give you the best overall chance every single gunfight so you guys knew when it comes to the combat shotgun the max damage that you could do is about 130 to a headshot if it was a perfect headshot i think it was about 130 damage and of course the range on that weapon was so 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 much higher so you can hit for a lot more damage from a lot longer ranges so with the with the pump shotgun as you guys already know it's a lot closer range so when it comes to hitting shots you definitely have to focus more if you're using a pump shotgun to use a pump in smg or when you shoot, you have to use a pump shotgun and build. Now, those are the two things that you guys have to do every single time you use the pump shotgun. And another really big key thing you guys do have to consider when it comes to the pump shotgun, as opposed to the combat shotgun, is say if you're going for an edit play, say if you're going for, you know, you pull out your shotgun, you build and go for a shot. One thing you have to consider that's a drastic change as opposed to the combat shotgun is going to be the time it takes to pull out the weapon so when it comes to the pump shotgun it pulls out a little bit slower and, it, and honestly when a little bit uh when, when you're used to the combat shotgun it feels like eternity to pull out but it is a lot longer to pull out a pump shotgun than it is to pull out a combat shotgun it's kind of another reason why the combat shotgun was a lot better option to use when it was out because the damage was really good, the range was really good, and on top of that, it pulled out extremely fast. It almost pulled out instantly, and it was kind of weird because when I was doing like uh, building, it just felt kind of weird because the shotgun would pull out immediately, and I was used to the shotgun pulling out a little bit slower with the uh, with the pump shotgun. So you have to very much consider the amount of time it takes to go for an edit play. Because if a guy's on the other side of the wall and wants to go for a shot on you, if they already have their shot lined up, the chances of you going for an edit, pulling out your shotgun, and then readjusting your shot, because the chances are they're not going to be standing still, they're going to be moving around a little bit. So you have to edit, pull out your gun, and readjust your shot. Most of the time, you're going to be the one getting hit for all the damage. And when it, when it comes to the combat shotgun, you can actually go for the edit plays a lot easier, just because the, the combat shotgun pulled out so insanely fast that you didn't really have to worry about you know really lining up your shot too much if the guy was already straight the shotgun's gonna pull it instantly and you're gonna hit your target no matter what so if someone is on the other side of your wall already have their sights lined up you're better off trying to maybe go for like a trap kill or maybe to go for 
like an edit close and then edit again you're better off doing something like that than just trying to you know hope that they miss a shot especially if you're playing against really good players because i play on pc uh with controller so i run up against a lot of keyboard players with insanely good accuracy so it's not really worth the risk trying to go for the edit just hoping that they miss maybe if you're good at, if you're fast enough you can catch them off guard but it really isn't the best way to play and so next of course i want to talk about the tack shotgun because that's also another really good option you guys can use and when it comes to improving your aim with this weapon it is a little bit different because when it comes to the gray green and blue version of the tack and no one really uses it it's honestly pretty trash not really the best go-to uh weapon of choice in my opinion and some of you guys might actually like it for the beginning of the game not the gray tack i don't know anybody who likes that gun against trash but maybe the blue tack some people would do like that weapon but I'm really just mainly talking about the purple and gold, gold versions because those are actually pretty good weapons. And when it comes to that weapon, if you want to be able to win a lot more gunfights with that specific weapon, you really do have to really uh, bet on and focus on going for shots that you can get multiple shots on. So being close enough to the other person, because if you're point blank with the other person, you're probably better off with attack shock unless the other person has really good aim and can hit a one pump or for a crazy amount of damage. And personally, I would 100% recommend having a pump over a tack. And for the reason being is the pump, the max damage on it is so insanely high. And if you're going against someone with a tack, they do have to be pretty much point blank and really in your face if they want to be very good with it and consistently hit high damage shots. But with the pump shotgun, you do have a little bit leeway when it comes to range. Of course, not as much with a combat shotgun, but you do have a little bit more range of leeway than using attack. Because with attack, you really don't have that much because the sight or the reticle is, you know, definitely a lot bigger than uh, what you have on the pump shotgun. So the spread on it's going to be a lot higher, which means it's going to be it's going to be harder to hit those high damage shots from ranges. And if you're aiming down sights, you can hit those kind of damages. But a lot of times when it comes to shotgun shots, you're not going to have that uh, that time to really line up your shot. So it can be a lot harder to hit shots. And even if you are able to hit shots, uh, it can really just not work out because the other person that you're going against is going to have a wide open shot on you because you're going to be basically standing still. So the other player can easily line up a shot no problem on you. And this is really the one major advantage that you have with the shotgun is your ability to move around and take shots because when you're moving around and taking shots versus like an assault rifle where you're pretty much like standing still aiming down sights, it makes it so much harder for the other player to hit you because it's going to be a lot more difficult to line up a shot on a moving target than it is for someone that's standing still with an assault rifle. So when it comes to shotguns and close range, uh, quarters it is really really useful the more you can move around the faster you can be because it's going to be a lot harder for the other player to hit shots on you but you do have to consider it might be a little bit harder for you because if you're jumping versus standing still it can be a little bit harder to hit your shots but if you are very good at you know or you do have very good aim with the shotgun you can really use this to your advantage and win a lot more gunfights very very easily and since I think before the really major major advantage with the combat shotgun was going to be the range to having that kind of mid-range fight was utter essential when it comes to the combat and really just the overall gameplay. But now since that gun is out, what you have to uh, try to do is to try to hit more headshots or hit as many headshots as you possibly can. This is something that's very easy to do at the beginning of the game, just because at the beginning of the game, the players you're going against are not really going to have that crazy weapons and you're also going to have the advantage of peeking around corners because you know later in the game you have to like right here after we have to worry about build fights and different things like that but at the beginning of the game you're peeking around corners so you can easily ads and line up a bunch of headshots back to back and that's just going to be your major advantage because with the pump shock and the super advantage that it has against other weapons is that it can hit for 200 damage and the max damage is a lot higher than any other weapon in the game and that's what gives it the you know the bread and butter of the pump shotgun is just the damage it can do so if you're able to hit headshots and you know body shots like that that do quite a bit of damage just on one shot that's going to give you the best overall chance because if you're hitting for constant 20s 30s or 70s with the pump shotgun just because you know it's a little bit slower coming off the edit and also it's a little bit slower when it comes to going for shots because with the combat shotgun you can pretty much just spray it but with the pump shotgun you pretty much just got one shot you either have to build or pull an smg right after so if you can hit for a lot of damage like 130 150 170 right on that first shot with the pump 
pulling out your SMG, finishing off the fight, or even building, it's going to be even easier because you can just nab the other player's wall after you know the recent updates where they made it so you can do so. And you're just going to be winning so many more gunfights 10 times easier doing that. So going for headshots is going to be the way to go here in Season 10. And with that being said, that's wrap up for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys liked it, make sure you guys do drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, turn on my post notifications so you guys are notified for every single new video. And alright guys, I'll see you next video.